Meet the Willems family. Siobhan from the Willems family was offered a new job at this brand new budding ore industry on the outskirts of the new city that everyone has been talking about. They have just been scouting out the area where Siobhan will be working and now they are headed home to their residency in the boonies. Watch this episode to see this industry area come to life as we expand our city together. Hello world! Welcome to episode 3 of our modded City Skylines playthrough. We are parked here at the Rundaboot watching cars actually hit two wheels. Right there, you see it? As they go around that corner. We are going to have to really tidy up this roundabout, probably between this episode and the next. But we have a lot to get done today, so let's get right to it. I am recording this episode right after last, so I won't have time to see your comments, but I did go and have lunch and I let the game run, and so we have quite a bit of money to play with, which means we're going to jump right into it. We have two tiles to unlock, and this is what's happening. We're buying this one, and we're buying this one, and they're probably not the most advantageous, but I'm really excited about this. This does a few things for us. It does bring us rail, which will be important soon for both industry and passengers. We'll have to figure out how we're going to divide up our rail, but that's not for a bit. But what is happening here is you can see this industry is the ore over here. So we are going to dive into that. So let us get a new district going. We will have all of this ore covered. And I always say this, I will tidy up the district lines probably off camera. I guess we can go up here too. I don't know how much we're going to build up here, but we are going to name this after someone who has been supporting me for quite a while now and is a patron. So these are going to be the Warnor Industries. Warner, thank you very much for all of your support. I really do appreciate you. For themes, we are going to let this be the vanilla industry because we're going to do the zoned uh, ore district thingy and we'll do some boomer homes is what I'm looking forward to the most. So we will let that go and then if we come down here, we can click ore industry and put that in. And I am ready to get this ball moving. Now, I have plans as far as connecting this area to this area, but for now, just to get things started, we're just gonna work off of the highway connection that's here. The first thing I want to do is get our road situation figured out here. So they've used this national highway and I am a-okay with that, but I would like to have some two lane action going. So let's upgrade this and then continue with that all the way down here. And I think I'm actually going right from there. I'm gonna do the same, but we're going to go to the bottom of our small roads and we're gonna get into the uh, small industry four lane road and carry it down through here. What does that connection looks like? It may be a little odd, but I'm going to stick with it for now. And then I'm also going to carry this through to about here until they start getting like into the actual mine thingy down here. Now you'll notice, I love the way that this ore texture looks from this theme. I think that's phenomenal, but we are going to want a little bit of area for the industry buildings that does not have actual ore like in the ground. So I'm going to kind of delete, I guess, just a little bit of this so that we can have those processing buildings spawn here. But everywhere else that you see ore, we will have the ore extraction buildings come in. Now I am also going to upgrade, or well, same grade this into this asphalt road. And we might eventually have it come down more in here, but we don't need to quite yet. And I think we'll, maybe we also do this one here. Yeah, and just have this carry through this way. And we can maybe have like a big pile of rocks or something up here, but then that way we can zone that to be the ore buildings as well. But all of this focus being on our industry area here and we don't have the demand for industry. We have a demand for residential and we will be having people live out here, kind of like country boons feel. Let me 
get these roads in and see how natural I can make it look. All right, my friends, we have the roads in. We have an area down here for almost all of our services. I did put some water over here as well. Fire, police, medical, recycling, and I'm realizing we don't have any power over here, so I'm curious how well it will carry over with just the mod. And we've got some roads. Let's get some zoning happening. I'm curious how this is gonna turn out, and well, let's see. I'll unpause the game. Now, as these houses zone in, they're gonna create some like cliff faces, that kind of thing. I, we, we will probably need to tidy those up with Move It mod, but that will happen afterwards. I'm gonna try not to zone too densely over here. I do want this to feel like a little bit of a country area. I also have no parks over here, so it might not be the most desirable for everybody, but we do have people coming in, so we know we've done something right at least. While we wait, let us actually put in some parks over here. What would make the most sense? These cabins actually look like they would fit in very well. Now they're pretty pricey, but I'm okay with that. And we're losing money. You know what we're gonna do? I think we're going to adjust our taxes a little bit, maybe? Although the money loss is going down. Let's at least adjust the budget, I meant budget, for our water because we have so much extra water. Let's see what that does and it doesn't look like we're going to be losing any water. I don't know why this guy's taking his sweet time. Okay, there, we're making money. We'll just keep our eye on the water situation. And yeah, let's get back in and do these parks. Right, so these cabins look like they would really fit up here, right? Let's do, I'm kind of tempted to do them, like I would think all in one spot for the looks of them, but for the usefulness of them as a like functioning park in the City Skylines game, that might not be the best idea. So we can put them over here as well. And where's that last one? We'll put one last one up here, right there in the center. So that'll really help those guys want to move in. Now we do probably want something down here as well, right? How tempted am I just to put a big Walmart there? <laughs> but there's probably something better that we can find. Children and dog park, look how cheaty this asset is. 200 entertainment and only $3 a week. Visitor capacity of zero though, I think that's a little strange. Why don't we put it back here where I don't think I had any zoning. Let's just take a look at it visually. Oh, it's quite pretty. And we will scooch it closer so that it goes, it connects to the sidewalk. And yes, immediately you can see some people coming in. Mayday, mayday, alert, alert. I completely forgot about death care. What a rookie mistake. We have people abandoning because we haven't done death care. So let's, let's take care of that, shall we? We are going to use a mix of crematoriums as well as a graveyard. So this is a crematorium. I'm going to put it right here and then that will help. You know what, I'm gonna press go. I'm gonna let the game run while we do this. And then we do have a really nice graveyard, this, this one. Um, I'm gonna put it in like our old, old district and it can go right there on the corner. I might have to move it mod that out of the way a little bit. Yes. And I will need to delete all of these abandoned buildings. My bad, everyone. I'm so sorry about all your dead people. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Now this church functions as a crematorium and I think that would make sense to have over here in the, I love to call it the boonies. So uh, that's what this will forever be known as. Let's put the church there. So that should cover death care for this area, hopefully. And then I would like to get something kind of a little bit more this way. I'm wondering if we do, maybe we will be able to wait. What I'm thinking about though, is maybe putting down the child care and the uh, elder care. Where would, yeah, if we put them over this way, that's gonna cover a really big area. So let's do that. Let's put down child care here and elder care. I'm going to put it there. And if we move it mod, now 
That may end up moving when I do finally work on this roundabout during stream, but for now it's gonna go there. Again, I just want to take this time. It is my legal obligation as a Canadian to apologize again and again about, uh, about all the dead people. So I'm sorry, citizens, about your dead people. Now we're losing money again. So we are going to lower our budget for water. Let's go all the way down and see, does that harm us as far as our water availability goes? Almost. And then if we, we could probably lower our education budget as well because we have, we don't have enough students to fill our schools as is. And then, yeah, because I've just put down all this death care, um, let's lower our uh, healthcare budget as well. This is very reactionary. I feel bad. We'll get this back up to normal as our city thrives. It has been a while since I've played proper with money turned on and having to unlock. Yeah, we're still doing just fine. Now, because we are hurting a little bit in our budget, I'm going to use that C word again. You guessed it, cheaty. I'm only gonna put down an elementary school over here. I don't think I'm gonna give these guys a high school education and I'm gonna use this asset. It's literally called an easy elementary school. It's only $80 a week and it holds 3000 students. So we are gonna put this over here and I kinda wanna just tuck it right beside this dog park. Yeah, look at that, looks good. Before we start addressing some of the needs in the city, there are two things that I need to do. Looking at this road here, I realized, watch this guy, is he gonna turn left? Okay, yeah, all right, that truck just demonstrated it there. Anybody who like has to cross over this grass thing is just crossing over the grass thing and that's not, that's not the way that's supposed to go. I just used the wrong road. So I, we want one of these ones where it says round and you can see the difference between the two when you hover over them. They actually will like break where the intersection is. So let's update all of these. Yes, and you can see already that it is doing what we want it to do. Thank you, sorry citizens. Just uh, Mayor Derp Toady here being a big derp toad. Speaking of me being a big goofball, we have this comment from Ben and Ben brings up a good point that any solar panels should probably be facing south. Um, and then I had to figure out how do we figure out where south is. So of course I went to the Google and had to Google which way the sun sets. Because when you, so it's like, it's noon right now, right? So here's noon and you look up and the sun is just at the top. So Google says that the sun sets in the west. So if I go to nighttime and I'm following where the sun goes, then that over there is west, which means never, no, never eat shredded so never eat shredded wheat right so then so then that would be south right okay so if that's south i'm just gonna not move my camera i'm gonna try to find the solar panels again they're almost facing south they just need to go that way a little bit more so let me move one of them and then all right actually it's kind of like right in line with the road isn't it yeah oh no it's more like that okay so it's more like because if that's west, then that's east. Okay, okay, this is very difficult. I think that's about as south as we're gonna get. I'm gonna put the time back to noon and get all of these solar panels in the correct direction. Please allow me a moment of your time to invite you to give the video a thumbs up if you are enjoying and don't forget to consider subscribing to the channel if you are interested in more City Skylines content. We have City Skylines playthroughs of course as well as lots of tutorials and little tips and tricks and I would love you to be part of the community. Now we need to address our residency need. I have been letting the game run for quite a while. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I actually kind of forgot that it was still running. So we have so much money ready to go. I've put down the water piping here and I have made this area the same district as this area up here, but then they separated, but it should still work as far as the themes go. So I'm okay with that. Now this middle part is going to be a surprise. Stay tuned for next episode to see what happens in here. But until then, let's get some housing happening 
in this area. That's all the zoning I'm going to do for now. Uh, it will be worth our time to check on the service needs. We do maybe want a little bit more medical coverage over here. I don't want to dawdle too much on this. I feel like I've done that with you guys already so much. Clickerson's Healthcare, wow, it's tiny. We're going to put you right down here. Death care, what do I have around here? Let us do, one of these little guys will work just fine. Yes, and it'll be good to have it around here as well. So we can plunk it right there, excellent. Moving in to fire. Yeah, I put down one of these. I put down a radio tower. I don't have disasters turned on, but I, it's a good way of helping your citizens be happier, right? So it just made sense for me to put that in. Now, why don't we get something a little like heavier duty? The normal firehouse has a capacity of six. I would love something higher than that. Do I not have anything higher than six? Here we go, 10 and eight. Let's do this one. And we can put him right there, perfect. Police, let us do this small police office down here. And schooling, capacity wise, we're doing fine, but it is nice to have schools available for your residents where they don't have to travel quite as far. Let's get one of these Toronto elementary schools in. They're just, I just love them. I use them a lot. I'm gonna put this one in right there and then I believe high school we are actually like full on capacity uh, we were okay so people must be cycling through that's good uh, high school eight it's pretty big let's see if we put this one here and then does it really go out onto the sidewalk it's not that bad I'm gonna maybe use move it mod to scooch it in a wee bit but that is fine wonderful next we will throw down a couple parks i'm hoping maybe to get some more like flowery ones let's do some naturey parks these wee guys are so easy just to tuck right in eh so we'll put a little wee guy over there and these flowery passages yeah i thought i remembered that they were really good for this like length that i usually use between the two roads great and then we'll put one more flowery whoa flowery passage down uh, here. This one's really big, wow. Let's get, yeah, let's get this skinny guy in there. That might be a little tall, but with the grace of Move It Mod, we can get it in. Perfect, so look at our demands. They have been met, so why don't we let these guys kind of build in as they want to. We will let these demands kind of sink, and we are kind of on our way to a population of 5,000. Heading back over to War Nor Industries, we can see that the houses have leveled up enough so that they are growing into the boomer homes, which I just love. And then some of them are technically like Japanese style buildings, but they still look, you know, pretty familiar to me. I think these ones with the fences are the ones that are technically Japan. Um, but I am loving how these are looking. And even when you come up here, almost especially when you come up here, some of them are a little cookie cutter side by side like this. But I mean, we can, how much can we change? Oh, it's the roofs, I see. Let's, yeah, we can change up the roof a little bit. We could go crazy, couldn't we? There you go, you get a green roof, sir. And or ma'am, love that. So uh, we do have a bit of a commercial need, so we should put that in. I don't think you would see a lot of shops like up here in the boonies like this, but you would certainly see maybe a couple. We could put one little shop here, just the three by three. We could also put one over here, a little two by two corner store kind of thing. And then I was thinking more down here is where you would probably see like a couple side by side, right? One, maybe a gas station or something. So we'll see what zones in. Oh yeah, definitely by the school. That would make sense to have a couple uh, shops come in. Yeah, right, we did the, the easy elementary school. Perfect, and then I would also maybe put one over here by the church. And one last little guy. Oh, we're auto-saving one last little guy up here. So this apparently is a car wash, and it's like, it's they put a smoking asset out on the back of it? I don't really understand. I don't even, I don't remember if this is vanilla or not. It must 
I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I like that. It also doesn't make a lot of sense around here. So I'm just going to delete that one and we'll see what comes in instead. But these two look, look pretty normal. We've got a restaurant here and is that a, yeah, it's a little arcade. Sure. That works just fine. I have zoned a little bit more residential out here on the outside. I know that this is kind of more of a main road, but I don't think it's going to have heavy enough traffic for it to be a problem. I did, however, avoid zoning near the roundabout so that we can keep this traffic flowing as freely as possible. And then I'm going to have just a few shops on the outside as well try to like vary up the dimensions sure so that both the residents of the neighborhoods around here and these workers at these farms can use them and distribute their goods and you know the whole thing something to touch on and point out is you can see here these residential guys have all the trees and it looks kind of like that thick cookie cutter bam 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 style residential that i was worried we were having over here but now that this area has had the opportunity to let time pass and level up you can see there's a lot less like thick of trees and it doesn't look so con bloggy blogged <laughs> I don't know it's words are just not happening but I think even with just allowing the houses to level up this has really fleshed out and done really well so I've been looking at what they need to continue to level up and it is increasing the value of the land and so that is something that we will definitely be considering in our next episode I also have plans to reveal my super secret totally unguessable intended use for this area here and we can't forget about Warner in industries where we will have some ore industry coming in. Until then guys, I will catch you next time.